Is it going? No, it's not. Hi. Hi, Bama. Okay. I think we're on. I think we're going. Okay. Today we are going to talk about how to get started social sell. I'm aware that my hair looks like a hot mess, you guys. I don't know what to do with it. It's just like doing its own thing right now. I've got to let it grow out. I've got to do whatever I can do. Okay. So we're going to make a drink real quick. And today I am going to make my Plexus Slim Hunger Control. So this is really cool. The Slim has stuff in it. And I know I'm telling you a little bit about the products, but then we're gonna get into how to social sell with me, I promise. But, and I have cameras all over the place, so I'm never gonna be looking directly at you or I usually won't be, so I apologize about that. Thank you, Taylor. She said your hair is so cool. I do not have diabetes. Um, no, I am, good morning, Marianne. I am super healthy and I'm so blessed for that, but um, if I did, I would totally take the Slim still. Hi, Jen, because the Slim has properties in it that balance your blood sugar as well as your hormones and it's so amazing. So this is the normal Slim um, without the hunger control. This is the one with the hunger control. Nice. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and mix this one up. So the one with the hunger control is interesting. It's not interesting, but um, you have to be really quick to shake it because it has fiber in it. So if you're not quick enough, um, I live in Michigan. Thank you for asking. If you're not quick enough to shake it up, it does clog up on like, you know, bunch up or whatever, unlike the regular slim. So we're gonna make this really quick. Whoops, I just spilled it because I was looking at the camera. And then we're gonna talk about how to social sell with me. So the first step to social selling, thank you for saying you love my hair color. No, I'm not diabetic, but that's the second question that I've gotten on my live about being diabetic. So somebody tell me why you're thinking that. I'm just curious to know. And I'm trying to wash the purple out to go back to blonde. So like I said, this one you have to really, 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 really shake. Okay. The first step to social selling with me, because that's what you're going to want to do, because I always say, and it's kind of embarrassing, it's not really embarrassing, but I say this all the time, I'm like, I'm good at everything that I do. So if you guys are going to do it, do it with me. We're going to have a great time. We're going to go really far together. The first step is to find products that you can social sell that you absolutely love and believe in. A lot of people refer to social selling as a pyramid scheme, and it's absolutely not. There are pyramid schemes, obviously, but those are illegal. And if you are selling something that doesn't have a product or a service, or it's you know like a junk product, then I could see how that could be a scam. That's why it's so important to find a product that you truly believe in that is research. All of Plex's products, we go through a third party clinical testing because they're supplements, so they don't get approved by the FDA, FDA, but we do our own testing so that we can make really great claims that are true about our products. So that's the first step. Plexus is an amazing one. It's my favorite one. The compensation plan is really good too. And that is why I chose Plexus. I started taking Plexus long before I ever sold it. And I absolutely loved it. It literally changed my life. I'm not gonna go into too much more on the details of the products, but we're gonna get into how we actually social sell now. So social selling is, yes, Ken, and Kenzie says they taste so good too. They really I do, like they're literally so good. And a lot of people have sensitivities to artificial, artificial products and uh, sugar and flavoring. And we don't have any of that in ours. So yeah, can't go wrong with Plexus. And look at how cute my little background is. Anyway, social selling is basically selling the same way that corporations do, but it's on a much smaller and um, more local, almost I'd like to say, bandwidth. So people often worry about coming off as really salesy, but I mean, in the end, when you're social selling, what you are doing is selling. So you find a product that you like and you start to share it with your friends. So how Plexus works is that you start taking the products. So you sign up for the monthly subscription and you start taking the products, which is super important because like I said, if you're not on the products yourself, other people aren't going to want to get on the products and they're not going to believe your testimonies about them because you're not on the products. So you start selling them and then it really does work as a 
as a marketing, like a multi-level marketing um, function. So when you share, you get your own referral link and then you share it with your friends. Um, most people do this through means of Facebook. I use my Facebook and I am now starting to share on my TikTok and my Instagram and a lot of people use all three of those. And honestly, I think the best way to social sell is to use all three. So you want to make about a post a day, letting your friends know you don't want to overwhelm people, but you just want to let them know that you have these products that you love, that are tested, that are tried, that are true. And then you earn commissions on top of them. So every time you, um, every time you make a sale, you earn a commission on that. Like a pyramid says somebody and okay. So yes, honestly, it's, it's like a pyramid but it's not a pyramid scheme. A pyramid scheme has no products or no service. And if you think about any corporation, uh, honestly, I want you to really think about this. How is that corporation set up? I'm gonna use Walmart for an example. Hi, Phil. I'm gonna use Walmart for an example because that's one that we know and it's common. So Walmart has a CEO and then it has vice presidents and then it has managers and then it has assistant managers, more of those, and then there's the floor people like working in the deli and the cashiers and blah, 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 blah. And as you trickle down this triangle, everybody makes a little less money, right? It's the exact same layout as many other corporations. And the reason that people think so negatively about them sometimes is because we're not used to, we're used to seeing advertisements all day, every day. The average person sees 6,000 to 10,000 advertisements a day from social media, but we're used to seeing them from the corporation themselves, from Walmart, from L'Oreal, from Maybelline, from influencers. We're not used to seeing them from our neighbors and from our teachers and from somebody that our son goes to preschool with. Do you know, or mom, whatever. Do you understand what I mean though? We're just not used to it, so it seems like a foreign concept. And if you're joining social selling just to make money, um, once again, you have to love the product. This is so good. What flavor is this? I think this was the, this was the black cherry. Black cherry is really good. So if you're joining to make money, um, the first thing that you have to do is understand how it works. So you make money off of the commissions and then you make money off from other people also referring. So every time you sign people up, you get Plexus points. And at the end of the month, your points are paid out. Every time someone that you signed up signs up, you get Plexus points too, and you get paid out on those. Hi, hi Adele. So you really have to be able to, one, put yourself out there and get out of your comfort zone, start to show the world a little bit of what you do because it's important for, it's, it's important when you're buying from somebody to know them, like them, and trust them. Let's take Maybelline for an example. Maybelline is a, you know what, actually I want to use Kiss because I love Kiss products. And when I say I love Kiss products and when I put on my Kiss fake nails and I put them on, nobody gets annoyed that I'm advertising for free for Kiss because they know the Kiss brand, they like it, they trust it. It's the same thing when you're building your own brand. You have to build a brand. You have to get people to know you, to like you, to trust you. And I'm not saying be fake because no one's going to like you all the time. You're never gonna have everybody liking you. And if you do, then that's your own problem. Like you got something going wrong. You're a people pleaser if everybody likes you. Hey. Yay, Mary Ann, did your products just come in? Woo! Mix up your drink, girlfriend, and take your cleanse. That's so exciting. Um, so when you're social selling, you have to, first of all, build your brand. This means, and I hope Kenzie and Marianne, I hope you guys are listening to this because Kenzie and Marianne are on my team and they are two of my business builders. I know that they are going to go so far. So please, both of you listen to this. You want to build your brand. You want to reach out to people and let people know who you are. 
this is me, this is what my house looks like, this is what my kids are doing, this is what I do for work. Just sharing what your life is so people get to know you and trust you and you'll find your people who relate with you. It's gonna be different for everybody. Um, I'm very, very different than Marianne. So Marianne and I are gonna have really different customer bases and really different brands doing the same purpose. And we're going to duplicate what each other does. So when we're both gonna be posting about our lives on the internet and finding people who relate to us as a group. So it's gonna be different people, but we're doing the same actions, okay? So we're customizing what we're doing to our people, to our specific life, but we're taking the same actions to bring in money and income, okay? So then the next step is going to be, um, so you're building your brand, you're letting your people know who you are, you're reaching out to people, you have to talk to more people because even if you have, let's say 5,000 Facebook friends right now, which is a ton of Facebook friends, that's way more than I have, on Instagram I have 288 followers right now, it's not a lot, but you have to be willing to reach out to new people and talk to new people. Um, I like to say get used to talking to people in person and get used to talking to people on the internet. It is no thing for me to send 30 messages on Facebook every day and I'm not saying, hey, I really want you to buy my Plexus. Hey, I really want you to buy my Plexus. Hey, I mean, I, I do bring that up, but what I'm really saying is, hey, how are your kids feeling? Hey, that looks so cool that you guys got to go to the water park this weekend. Hey, enjoy your day. I think your dog is so cute. And I'm reaching out to people and I'm letting them know that I care about them because I do care about them. I'm not just, you know, trying to make a sale. I genuinely want to get to know people and have people get to know me. And I want to be liked. I want to be known. I want to be trusted. So that's part of building your brand and then that's reaching out. That's adding new friends on your Facebook, following new accounts, getting out of your comfort zone and making sure that you're saying hi to people. You're letting them know that you care about them, you are talking to them and you're not only just talking to them about your business, you're talking to them about anything and everything under the moon. You're letting them know that you care about them and that you are interested in them, okay? Which is so fun. Like I know there's a lot of people who are introverts and they right now they're like, I'm out, I don't wanna to get to know people, I don't wanna to talk to people, and that's fine if you want to be out and you don't want to be getting to know people and you don't wanna be talking to people, but if you wanna be able to take your kids to school, like I got to today for one of the first times, and I got to do my morning research with my son sitting on my lap, and I get to go out to lunch with them if I want to today. If you want to change certain aspects about your life, you have to be willing to change certain aspects about your life. You have to be willing to get out of your comfort zone. You have to be willing to take the actions necessary. And there are so many introverts who do really, really well in social selling. So do not count yourself out before you've even tried. You got it? Marianne, you got it? Okay. So the next part of it is going to be, um, building building teammates who can be successful in the ways that you are. So for example, I think that I'm really, really good at selling and almost all of the income that I make off from social selling is currently made by selling. So I make my money by saying, hey, do you guys wanna buy Pe Plexus? Do you wanna buy Plexus? I love the products. Um, I love them, I think they're amazing. I really, really do. I talk about them all the time and I get sales that way, which is great. That is That needs to be a solid part of your business and you do need to be a good salesman or saleswoman, but you also need to be able to create dependable, independent, successful leaders and sellers on your team. So you need to invest time and emotion and whatever it is into your downline, into your teammates. So like I said, for me, I have I have a, quite a few people on my team, honestly, who are doing awesome. I have Kenzie's doing amazing, Rachel is doing amazing, April's doing amazing, Marianne is just getting started and she has hit the balls, hit the ground running. I don't know why I said balls, sorry about that. Marianne did not hit the balls, maybe she did, I don't know. <laughs> but um, you have to be willing to help those people develop into successful salespeople as well, Marianne's laughing. Um, because that's how, you know, you can't, if you, if you wanna be able to 
have time to go out to lunch. You have to have employees. And I'm not saying that Marianne and Rachel and um, April and Kenzie are my employees, but they are very much my teammates. And we kind of all have to see each other as coworkers who we can depend on. So the very first tip, the very, the very first thing that you need to do is you need to learn to be a good salesman. And there's so many resources on this. You guys can follow me. You can watch what I do. You can find other people who are more in your niche. I think I'm using that word right. Um, you know, if you're, I'm very, uh, bright and bubbly and girly and my best friend Pilar is very tattoos and darks and skulls so what I do might not work for her but she can see the frequency that I'm posting the kind of content that I'm posting and put her own spin on it so you'll want to find somebody who's similar to you who's gonna have a similar brand to you and you're gonna want to mimic those actions with your personal actions to attract people to your brand and then you need to learn how to close the deals. You need to learn how to talk to people, how to interact with them, how to read their personality. If you guys have never done this, I highly suggest, and Marianne and Kenzie, um, I would really recommend you guys do this sometime this week if you could get this done. You want to take a color personality quiz. You want to find out what your color is, and you also want to find out about the other colors so you can learn how to interact with other personalities. I'm very blue and red. So what that means for me is I'm very high energy. I'm very, do, 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 do. let's do this, let's do this, let's do this. And, and then I'm also very like, you need to do this because if you want your kids to go to a good school, you need to make enough money. Hi, Bobby. If you want your kids to go to a good school, why are you saying you want them to if you're not making money, you know? And not everybody responds to that very well. Um, I think Marianne has a red personality where she needs to be told, Marianne, make the post and make the money. Nobody is sitting here about to make money for you. You need to make the damn money. And Marianne's like, okay, okay, you're right. I got it, I got it, I go. I'm gonna do it right now. But if I said that to Kenzie, if I said, Kenzie, make a gosh darn post right now and make some money or else you're lying and I don't believe you wanna make any money, Kenzie's gonna be like, I gotta go, I gotta go. You have to learn how to talk to people. So I'm very hard with Marianne. I'm very, Marianne, this is how we do it. Do it. You said you wanted it. Get it. I'm very Kenzie. You got this because I know that you can do this. I know, Marianne. I'm not being hard on you. You're just here and you're on my team and I'm using you as my example. So um, I love you. And you're doing awesome. But God damn it. Get it, Marianne. No, I'm just joking. And I'm sorry that I just swore like that. Anyway, um, so learn about your personality and learn about how to speak to other people's personality. I don't do very well with greens because they want a ton of scientifics and they want, they want the research, they want the ingredients, they want to know when it's been tested. They wanna know, you know, they wanna know how long it takes and I'm like blah, 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 let's just order it. Let's just order it and let's just get it going and we'll see how it goes, right? Like, let's go, let's go, let's go. Greens don't respond to me very well, so I have to take time to learn how to speak to those greens. <laughs> what are you saying same to Jamie? I want to know. Um, or is it to the you're a very blue? Oh, Bobby says that's so true. I wish my boss knew that. It is so true. We have to learn. And that's what makes me, I believe, a good boss. And again, I'm not saying that I'm the boss of my social selling people. We are very, she said greens. Yes, it's so true. Um, we are very self-employed. Um, but I do have a cleaning company and a couple other businesses. And I think I'm a good boss because I understand how to speak to people. I'm a yellow and some red. I can't remember what yellows are. I have to look into it a little bit more. I feel like yellow is like a little bit less. Oh, you know why? Because sometimes it intermits with orange. You're right. I know what you're talking about. And red, I really like being red too. So learn how other people, learn how to talk to people, learn how to sell to people, learn how to be what people need. People are, they, they want to buy good products, but they wanna buy good products from people who care about them. Um, it's just like going back to the brand Kiss. If, if Kiss was like, had the best nails in the whole wide world, but they were like, but I literally, we, we have really good nails and really good eyelashes and me personally, I love them so much, but they made a statement and they were like, we hate when women cut all their hair off and dye their hair purple, FYI, but here's a new release of the best nail glue in the world. I would be like, I'm not buying that nail glue. 
That's rude. I'm not buying that nail glue. But if they were like, here's the best nail, here's some medium nail glue. There's like one that's kind of a better by a different brand. But we just want to say that we love people with short purple hair because they're expressing themselves and we love it. Um, I'm going to be like, give me that nail glue. I love you. Thank you. So you want to learn how to develop those Per, those relationships with people. Bobby says, how do we take a color test? Just Google um, color personality test. It'll give you some questions like, I am more likely to do this or I am least likely to do this and then you'll get your results and then you can also, on your results, learn about all the different colors and what they mean. So just Google color personality test to take that. Marianne and Kenzie, I'd like you guys to do that sometime this week if you get a minute. Um, okay. So we learn how to sell to people and then we learn how to, to develop up. <laughs> My hair is so crazy. Cool, Bobby. Let me know what yours says because I'm interested to know. Um, we need to learn how to develop other people. So we need to, first of all, if, and I feel like in social selling, um, there really isn't a lot of people who have this mindset. But if you're in the mindset that like, the network or the market is saturated and I'm never gonna be on the top. My So my upline, her name is Sally, and Sally kicks butt. Sally has good, 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 she's so good at this. And honestly, when I first bought products from Sally years ago, I was like, I'm not joining Plexus because I'm never going to be above Sally. And you know, like, what's the point? If I'm not gonna be the best of the best, like there's no way for me to get above Sally that means that there's no way for me to make as much money as her and that means that it's not worth it you know that was my mindset but the truth is yes sally's always going to be above me and sally's never going to take i'm never going to take sally's place but no one's ever going to take my place either and just because sally's above me doesn't mean that that puts any cap on what i can make and that's a part of the reason that sally invests so much time and emotion and feelings and love and trust into me is because my success is Sally's success. And that's why I'm investing so much time and love and emotion into Marianne and Rachel and April and uh, Kenzie because their success is my success. And that's why I want them to find people to feel the same about. I want them to find people who they can coach and say, I know it's hard to make that first post and I know it's hard to reach out to that person and I know it feels like you're at the end of the rope and you've talked to everybody that you can but there's so many more people out there that we can talk to and you know, I want them to learn how to keep pushing people when they need that push. I want them to learn how to read people's personalities and give them the right push. I don't want Mary Ann going and finding somebody with a orange or yellow personality and saying, dang it, you need to do this because you said you wanted to make money and now I don't believe you because you haven't posted today when they need somebody to be like, hey, I know you want to stay home with your kids and I know this is important to you and I know your kid has a birthday coming up and you said you wanted to throw them a really nice party. So let's let's do this let's work at it and let's make it happen so that your daughter can have that really great party you want to teach other people how to be successful and that's something that you really don't have in a lot of other industries I've worked a lot of office jobs and I've hated every single one of them and there was never that feeling of support from everyone like there is in social selling I have never been in an industry where it literally only makes sense to um, encourage other people to do well and to want people to be as successful as possible because you are never going to be replaced in this business and every single time you help somebody you are helping yourself and it's literally a win-win there is no reason to feel bad when you have products that you love and that are tested and true and I don't have any grandparents but if I had grandparents I would be buying these products for them or asking them to buy them because I believe in them so much I wish that I could give these to everybody who can't afford it and I wish I could convince everybody who can to be on these products so when I'm selling to somebody I know in my heart of hearts that I am doing the right thing and that I am helping them. And when I am encouraging my teammates to sell and to be the best versions of themselves, I know that I am 
helping them meet their goals and becoming the best version that they want to be and getting the money for whatever it is that they want. And they're helping me at the same time. I've never ever seen another industry where we can have such a positive um, interaction with people that benefits us in such an amazing way too. So that's kind of the gist of social selling. Um, you want to learn how to sell, you want to learn how to talk to people, and you want to learn how to be a coach. And I personally, and also to my own heart, downtown, think I'm an amazing coach. I have not met somebody yet that I was like, I can't coach you to be successful in this business. I'm sorry, you got to go. It's just, it's just not going to happen because if you think that you are so different and so so different if you think that you are so different i want to tell you that you're not and i don't mean that you're not unique and i don't mean that you're not one in a million but what i mean is you i get so many people who say to me um i can't do this because i'm an introvert and i'm not extroverted okay there are so many other people who need you to be doing it because they're the same way they need your little introverted self to do it to see that they can do it too so that they're not stuck at miserable jobs for the rest of their life because they just always had it stuck in their mind that they the introverts can't do this. There needs to be the people who are saying, you know, I, I'm selling to people and I'm like, hey, 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 look at this, look at this, I love it, I love it. I'm not getting introverts because the introverts are like, oh my God, this girl is too much. She's too much for me. I don't, I can't do that. I can't do that. I can't be, you know, like I'm talking to people like this. I can't do that. But there needs to be people doing that so that others can see that it can be done. There needs to be the introvert who's like not in your face screaming at you on a live, but making a post. Bobby says you, you got gold. I've never seen gold. I'd have to look what that one is. Um, anyway, there needs to be the introverts out there that are just like, here's my product. I'm selling it quietly. I'm, I'm not saying you have to stay quiet if you're an introvert, but there is room and there are other people like you who would want to buy from you that don't, they, they want the product just the same as they would want the product from me, but they don't want to buy it from me because they don't relate to me, but they would relate to you and they would relate to what you have going on in your life and they would relate to how you talk and how you sell and how you act and what your posts look like much less than what my posts look like. So if you think you're too introverted, that's that's literally your mind holding you back from really, really, really great potential. And I hope that makes sense. So I'm going to log off now. Thank you, Marianne. I am super glad that you caught this whole live this time. Thank you, Bobby. Thank you, Jamie. I'm an introvert and I've been sharing for almost three years. Anyone can do this. Thank you. It's so true. Anyone really can do it. If you have access to an internet connection and you have the willpower to create success for yourself, you absolutely can do this. And I would love to have you guys do it with me. Even if you don't, if you found value in this live, please like it, share it. Everybody who commented on it, I appreciate it so, so, so much. I um, Sometimes I'm sitting on here talking to myself and I'm like, eh, but I really like it a lot more when I'm talking to you guys. My Instagram followers need to get a little bit more proactive at chit chat and with me, stinkers. Um, but Facebook and TikTok, appreciate you guys so much like this share this comment on it if you guys are watching this and you're like i want to give it a shot i really 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 encourage you to please do it reach out to me if you want to do it on your own there is a link in my bio but reach out to me and i can explain how it works um how to get started and how we're going to do it together i have two calls later today with uh two potential teammates and i'm really really excited because I'm changing people's lives and I absolutely love being able to do that. So thank you guys. Um, I will post this on my feed and on my YouTube um, in case you guys missed it and you want to go back and watch it. But have a great day, everyone. Bye.